Hi there. Okay, for this video, I'm going to walk you through my process for how I you know, estimate the percent of something that is shaded in. All right. And so we are going to go to this first problem. Okay. So now when I look at this, I have to think, okay, what percent of this is shaded in? And, and the first thing you have to remember is that percents are always out of 100. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of look at this figure and I'm going to imagine it cut into 100 pieces. And so I'm going to imagine maybe, I can either imagine 100 st horizontal strips going up, going up, and up, and this gray stuff is what's shaded in. Or I can think of the classic 10 by 10 grid and, um, and that, that would make 100 little squares, little unit squares inside this thing. And uh, I'm going to think of it that way. And I'm going to think of 10 going this way, 10 going this way. So if this is, this would be like a row down here, a row of 10, another row of 10, another row of 10, another row of 10 squares, 10 squares, 10 squares, 10 squares. And if this whole thing is 100, and I, I need to think, okay, maybe up here, maybe that's like three rows of 10, so that would be 30 that's not shaded. So that would make this 70% that is shaded. So if I take a look at this and, yeah, all right, there you go, there's 10 by seven right here, and that's 70. And sure enough, my estimation seems to be pretty darn reasonable. Um, if we look at this one, oh boy, this is not a tough one at all. All right, well, what percent is shaded in? course, well, it looks like all 100 little squares have been shaded in, so it's 100%. And uh, let's do one or two more. Uh, okay, now that, now we're getting a little bit more creative here. It looks like I'm going to stick with that 10 by 10 idea. 10 going this way, 10 going this way, and I'm going to estimate this to be about one column, or yeah, one column of 10. I'm going to think that's a column of 10 as well. And this kind of looks like two columns of 10 for a total of 40%. Um, that's going to be my guess. And if we look at the grid, okay, well, you can see that, okay, this one is right on a line. But if I were to scoot the grid over temporarily, that sure looks like 10%. This sure looks like 20%. So I'm, I think I'm going to be right. And look at that. There, there we go. And the last one. Um, now, this one, I probably use subtraction. Because I know the whole thing is 100%. And in instead of trying to count all the shaded stuff, maybe what I'll do is I'll count, or estimate really, the white part, the unshaded part, and then subtract it from 100. Okay, so I'm going to look at this. And I don't know, this doesn't, I don't know, maybe four high and... Well, not four across, so it's got to be three across. So I'm going to estimate that that's 12. And so if that's 12, then 100 minus 12 is 88. So let's take a look. Well, it's definitely three across. And it looks like it's four high because there's a little half at the top and half at the bottom. And so I'm going to guess that I, I think I'm right. There we go. These are all reasonable estimations anyway. We don't know if I'm right. It's, we're just estimating here. So that's the thought process that I go through when I am trying to estimate the percent that something is shaded in, percent of something that's shaded in.